Hello everyone, my name is Naha Murphy and I'm introducing this learning video about how to use ODV. So in this video we're going to cover just a couple steps. First we're going to go through data prep. So we're going to curate our data. We're taking our data from multiple sources and organizing it, in this case into an Excel sheet. Then we're going to cleanse our data check all our values, get rid of missing rows, missing columns, and things like that to make sure it'll load better into our software, in this case, ODB. Then we're going to wrangle our data. We're going to convert our data from the Excel sheet into a more appropriate format. Next, we're going to load our metadata into ODB, and then we're going to associate parameters in the data with the metadata file. Then we're going to import data from our text file into ODB. And once we've done that, we're going to start adding our points or stations to our pick list and then plot our data and make surface plots. So let's just start from the beginning, which is always our data set. So here we can start looking at our data and we're going to make sure it's clean. So immediately we can notice some empty rows and columns here. So we have to get rid of that because that'll cause problems when coding or loading data. So let's get rid of that empty row and then we'll get rid of that empty column. And then we're just going to check all our values and make every sure everything makes sense. So our column labels look okay. That's the first row and then we have a second row for units. And then each of our data, we have Vero Beach, cruise name, that looks fine, ship name, SS Lollipop, Shirley Temple would be proud, so that's all good. Cruise ID, sample ID, station, station ID, okay, these look good. Type, buckets, start, end times, latitudes, they look good, they all look pretty close, reasonably close. And longitude, okay, this is a problem immediately notice that we have a positive surrounded by a lot of negatives. So which one's right? Well, we can easily determine that since we're the cruise name is Vero Beach and we're leaving out of Vero Beach, that these longitude values should be negative because this positive value is going to be on the other side of the world. So let's just fix that now. So add a negative and then we'll add a note just to keep track of what we've done. So we'll say change to negative original value was on the other side of the world. And then depth looks good. It's at the surface, about one meter. Phosphate and silicate values look good. Okay, so we're going to save this file as video data cleansed. And we're just going to keep track of every step we make by saving them as different names. So we're going to save this and yes, we're going to replace it. Okay, now that we've saved our data as a cleansed Excel file, we have to make it more appropriate to load into our ocean data view. So instead of having an Excel file, we're going to save this as a text file. So we have our cleanse data. Let's just scroll down to tab delimited text and hit save. Do you want to place it? Yes. Some features might be lost. That's okay because we're just saving the one sheet. Now we're going to open up our... All right, I almost forgot before we start loading any, loading anything into ODV, we got to close our Excel sheet. Okay, there we go. Good. All right, now we're ready. So we're going to open, we're going to create a new ODV. There we go, ODV data. And we're going to call it Vero Beach Cruise 001, saving it as an ODV. So then 
First, we have to create our collection. Okay, so what are we putting on ODB? We're putting in a text file. So I'm going to highlight that and then uncheck this box. But we should also note before we go on that we can specify our variables manually. But we're not going to do that in this case. So now I'm going to click OK. Great. So we have our new ODB file. And now we're going to select our template file, which is not such a hard step because we just went through and made our text file, which acts as our template file, our ODB video data cleansed. So we're going to open that. And now we're going to arrange our spreadsheet file properties. So first thing we're going to go through is column separator, tab. We have our tab limited text, so that looks good. Quotation string, missing value indicators. Now we're going to go to the right and look at column labels line, which is really important because we're telling ODV where our column labels are, and then where our units are, and then where our first data is. So column labels line is one, which looks good. Unit labels is going to be row two, and then our first data shows up on row three. So one, two, three. Now we're going to click OK collection says it already exists press yes to delete the existing collection to proceed okay we'll click yes and this is good we have a map of the world so now that we've set our template file we're going to do the next step which is we're actually going to import the data so we're going to import our ODV spreadsheet so this is going to be the same as our template file the text file that we made after cleansing data all right, so we just have to go through this step one more time. So tab looks good, text quotation looks good, missing value. Nothing's changed on that side. We have to adjust our column labels line to be row one. We have to adjust our units line to be row two. And we have to adjust first data line to be row three. OK, let's press OK and proceed. All right, now this is really important. We have meta variable association. So let's just double check everything. Our station is associated with station. Type is associated with type. Longitude is associated with longitude. And latitude is associated with latitude. OK. Everything looks great. Let's click OK. And it says all 11 variables associated. Perfect. We're just going to proceed and click OK again. Collection, nine stations imported. That looks good because we saw in the data set that we had nine stations. And now let's just make it a little easier for us to look at our map. And we're going to zoom in. So that was right click, we'll right click and click zoom. And then you see this red outlined box. We're just going to make it really close to our data points so we can see the individual stations. So we don't want to see the rest of the world, we just want to see the spot in Florida. All right, much better. Now we're going to start, we have our points here, and we're just going to start adding things to our pick list. So first we're going to, we're going to start labeling our stations. So that was right click, go to properties, now we're at properties, annotations. So we need to know what are our stations called. All right, let's label each of them. Click OK. And then we're just going to double click them. So this double clicking adds them to our pick list, which is going to help us make plots later on. All right, let's just make sure we double click each of the stations. You should see the station labels coming up in black. It's a little bit small, so maybe I'll just zoom in to make it a little easier for everybody and me. Enter. OK, that's better. Zoom in again. OK. Each of our stations looks labeled now, which means they're in the pick list. And if we want to check that, we can right click. We can even go to Manage Pick List. We can click Edit Pick List. And we can see station ID 1 through 9. Each of our nine stations is in our pick list. So this is really great news. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually plot some data. 
So we're going to hit view. We're going to go to ISO surface variables. And we're going to start adding in variables to tell Ocean Data View what we want it to plot. So here we want to look at things of interest. So we're going to start with phosphate. We're going to say at depth. And since we're making surface plots, we're going to do at the surface. So remember in our data set when we had depth was at one meter? That's how we're telling Ocean Data View where the phosphate is. So we're going to say at depth equals one for one meter, and then we're going to add that. We're going to do the same thing for silicate. So silicate at depth equals one meter, and add that. Right click, shift, we're going to click OK. So we've added it. Ocean Data View knows that it's there. Now we're going to actually plot the data. So view, we're going to go to layout templates. Oh. Layout templates, and we're going to hit one surface window. No data. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. No. Hmm. Okay. So I'm glad that happened because now we can see how to fix a problem. I had to go offline for a bit, but now I know how to solve it. So let's try this again, making surface plots. Let's go back to view. Let's go to ISO surface variables. So I just got rid of the silicate and phosphate and went back to the original. So immediately we have to look at what's already defined. So longitude, latitude, time, day of year. That's in our data sheet that looks good. But now we have this says ship name at cruise name equals first. But we don't have first in our data. So that's not right, and that's not going to plot. So that's likely going to show up as not available. The data is not available. So let's just get rid of that. Since we're not plotting cruise IDs or cruise names anyway, we'll get rid of that because that also says equals first. This says equals first. Let's get rid of that. And then let's get rid of this one. And now let's add in the variables that we want to plot. So phosphate at a depth of not first, but one meter, because that's what we have in our data set. So we've added that. Now we're gonna add silicate at a depth of also one meter, add, and then we're gonna click OK. And now it should work. Uh, so layout templates, we're gonna add each window individually. So surface window, great. That's our phosphate surface window, so that's good. And then I'm gonna add the next surface window as two, two surface windows means two surface plots. And then you can see where each station is. So if I click this station, the, the red pluses will show up on that. And then if I change stations, the red pluses will follow on the, the plots, the surface plots. So, okay, if we want to edit this plot a little bit, we can say, Let's go to properties and let's say we want to look at something new. So palette, let's say we don't like the ODV palette and we want it to be, uh, let's say Virtus. Okay, so we changed our color, but oh no, it only changed on one plot. So what do we do? Let's click apply to all windows. So it should show up on all our windows have the same color. And if we want to do anything else, we'd say, so curves and dots, or we can say just dots. We can change our style. Here we can change our data. So we can say that long and we can change a parameter. And that's just a beginning tutorial for Ocean Data View. Thanks guys for listening.